Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to show you some amazing Windows 10 tips and tricks which will definitely help you. The first thing that I'm going to show you is the video editor. So just type video over here in the search box and then you will see video editor. This is very useful especially if you're going to start a YouTube channel or going to edit a video. You don't need to upload, uh, you don't need to download or purchase a, a, a different software from somewhere. It is in the, this feature is in the Windows 10 which is very useful so I'm so I'm gonna soon upload a video on how to edit a video on the video editor next one is voice recorder so search voice over here and then you will see voice recorder and now you can record a voice now just click on it and then it will start recording over here and at a particular time if you want to mark something very important then you can do that as well over here then it will show the time now you're done and if you want then you can um, share it or you can dream or you can see so many options over here the next feature is kind of funny and pretty cool uh, at least to me and um, just imagine whatever you say somebody will write it down for you so that will happen in windows 10 without you know the help of any other person so i'll show you that so i have a blank uh, notepad here and what you need to do is just press windows uh, logo key plus h and now it will start uh, writing everything for me i love snowfall so this is cool next feature is a kind of a reader or a speaker you can say so just press windows key logo plus plus sign and it will read it for me whatever i have written so let's listen to it so whatever you write it it, it will uh, read it for you the next one emoji screen to get the emoji screen you just need to press uh, windows key logo plus semicolon some people say semicolon as well so you have so many options over here in between if you like my video you can drop an emoji to my video as well you can enable clipboard history to copy multiple items to the clipboard for that go to the start menu and then click on settings then click on system and then scroll down a bit and then click on clipboard um, and then turn it on and then let's see how the clipboard history works so to uh, copy some multiple items I will copy this one and uh, this one too I will copy even the images as um, an image as well now to get the clipboard history you just need to press windows logo key plus V and you will see all the items that you have copied you can even pin it in case if you want to use it for later but um, if you I mean shut down your system and restart it if you have pinned an item you will see that again but make sure that you know you do not pin any information any sensitive information like your your password or the banking details make sure that you know before you shut down you clear the history to take the screenshot or take a snip of what is on your screen you can use the snip and sketch for that just type sketch over here and then you will see that click on it click on new and then you can choose other option as well but let's choose the rectangular one so now you can take the screenshot and you have the other options so you can check that out another way to get the screen is just press windows logo key plus shift plus s then you will get the same option and in case if you want to make your print screen button which is on your keyboard as the shortcut button to get the screen snipping then you can go to start menu you can go to settings and then click on ease of access and then scroll down a bit click on keyboard and then scroll down a bit then you will see the print screen shortcut so turn it on to use the print uh, screen button to open the screen snipping but once you do that once you turn it on then you might have to restart the system now let's talk about the command prompt if the command prompt um, copy paste option is not working then you can enable the feature so go to the search box and just type cmd and then you will see the command prompt now uh, if i try to copy paste something let's see it works or not so um, 
it is not working right now so in order to enable the feature just click uh, make a right click on the uh, top bar and then go to properties over here go to options and then enable control key shortcuts so put a check box uh, put a check on that box and then click on ok now uh, let's try to copy paste and see how it works so now it is working and another thing in case if you want to make the color change uh, the, the background then you can you know choose according to your choice so if I change this percentage over here then you see from black uh, from black to the gray uh, to gray so you can uh, choose according to your you know preference over here if I choose this one then it will be you know the color will change over here as well when you write something so if I type this then let's see over here so uh, which I don't like but in case if you want then you can choose according to your color choice now windows updates are very important but in case if you are working in the middle of some projects if you don't want that update to happen then you can pause that as well so for that go to the start menu and then click on settings then click on update and security you will see the windows update over here then you can pause that update for up to uh, for seven days and you can change active hours as well during the active hours you can set the time during the active hours the system will not restart automatically background apps help uh, to receive the notification and stay up to date but in case if you want then you can uh, you know turn off some of them uh, to conserve the power and definitely the battery will last longer so to do that go to start menu go to settings then go to privacy and then go to scroll down a bit and then click on background apps then you can you can choose whatever the app that you want to turn off so um, you can do like that multiple desktop options so uh, windows 10 has the multiple desktop options now we can create a new desktop over here by clicking over here so click on new desktop then you will um, get a new clean desktop in case if you want if you do not want to interrupt anything whatever you know program or any work uh, that is happening on your first desktop then you can create it another one um, but usually i don't use it but in case if you want you can check that out the next feature is the dark mode in windows 10 so you can change the color um, go to the search box over here and then type color and then you will see the color settings click on it and then you can customize it so ch um, choose the custom and then you can see um, the windows mode over here if you uh, choose light then you see over here the taskbar has changed the color and then but i prefer the dark one but in case if you want the uh, default app mode you can choose that one as well so if i choose then then uh, the color has changed so um, you can adjust that accordingly the calendar reminder or the calendar event go to the right bottom click on it and then you will see the calendar over here which is very easy so uh, that everybody knows but you can add an event or a reminder choose a date over here so 15th is my birthday and i will write birthday over here and then you can choose the time as well so i choose uh, 11 a.m and then you click on the tick mark and then you choose the other time so let's just choose randomly and then you can add a location as well so i will add here and then you can save it the calculator functionality it has so many features so you can check that out so let's see uh, open the calculator click over here and you see so many uh, different um, calculator standard scientific graphing so many uh, you know so many other options and we have the uh, converter as well so let's just check randomly the currency um, it is in uh, US dollar so let's see the four dollar uh, four dollars equal to three point three nine um, euros and uh, let's check the other let's see uh, the data so it has um, gigabytes and the megabytes so one thousand uh, one gigabytes is equal to a thousand megabytes so you can check out so many options over here 
The next feature is Cortana, the digital assistant. I believe most of the people know this, but I just wanted to add uh, very quickly. This is my son's favorite part because he can talk to Cortana. So let's just uh, open Cortana and I will just, you can ask a uh, question to Cortana, but I will just ask uh, to do, you know, anything. Sing a song. So that's how you can make it, you know, work. Quick assist. If you want to help other person um, on his or her computer or if you want to get assistance, then you can just type quick assist and then you can uh, click over here and then once you do that you have to uh, fill the details over here if you want to get assistance you have to enter the code from another person if you want to assist another person you have to enter the detail over here so that you can help each other check the screen now how it works is let's say i have um, the F firefox open and the notepad as well but if i want to see the notepad only right now then what i can do is uh, to uh, shake the screen and then other screen will disappear and uh, if you want to get that back then you can do it again now in case if you want to make this uh, active screen into half screen then what you can do is you can press uh, windows logo uh, key plus um, the left or right arrow key i'm gonna press the uh, left arrow key so windows logo key plus left arrow key then that will make the active screen into half screen here I want to add another quick thing here. So let's say if I have the Google Chrome, uh, so many tabs open here. If I want to go to another, uh, you know, a particular tab, then what you can do is you can simply press Control plus the number of that tab. So if I want to go to Mountain, which is first, so I'll just Control and then one, then I'm here. If I want to go to the Flowers one, which is a third, then you can press Control plus three, then you can go to that particular tab. And to minimize all the windows, you can press Windows logo key plus M, then that will minimize every window. Now to open a browser or a program from the taskbar, you just need to press uh, the Windows logo key plus number of that position. So I want to open the keyboard, this one, which is the fifth one. Then I will press Windows logo key plus five. Now it is open to minimize it. Uh, Windows logo key plus M, then um, it's done. I want to open the Google Chrome, which is the fourth one. Then let's check once again. Windows logo key plus four. Now it is open, then minimize it. Windows logo key plus M, it is done. Now the next important thing is God mode, the simple and a shortcut way to find so many important uh, settings to create that. Make a right click over here on the desktop and choose new and then click on folder. Now you have to rename it, copy paste this which is in the description. Make a right click here and then rename it. Now it is done. Now you can see so many important uh, settings here, administrative tools, the autoplay, uh, the color management and then date and time and then so many other things so you can check that out now the last trick that i want to share with you guys is how to uh, shut down your computer in a shortcut way and it is pretty simple and easy so for that on the desktop make a right click here choose new and then click on shortcut now you have to copy paste this so um, i have given in a description so just just paste it over here and then click on next and then uh, you can name anything here but i will just leave it like that and then you can click on finish now it is done you have to double click on it and then it will show a slide to shut down your pc but i don't want to do that right now because i'm still working on it so that's all for today in this video i hope uh, this video is helpful for you guys thank you so much for watching please like and subscribe to the channel